take a bunch of big wigs, pop stars, not to mention a few hangers on, and throw them in a room with a whole lot of booze. They call it the Brits. We call it asking for trouble. And the shenanigans started early thanks to the klaxons, some of whom were struggling to keep upright before the show had even begun. Although alcohol wasn't the only thing making Jamie go weak at the knees, turns out he has a little thing for Rihanna. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Come into me, come into me. Be afraid, Re, be very afraid. The Mercury Music Prize winners got up on stage with the Bayesian Beauty, but were beaten to the Best Live Trophy by Take That. And for anyone wondering how many more albums the Comeback Kings have left in them, well, just listen to this. We're starting to talk about it now, you know. Um, we're not in any rush at the moment. We've just come off this massive tour, so we're just going to see what this year has in store. Fingers crossed, TT fans. Mark Ronson was among the other stars raising a glass, as well as an amazing performance featuring Amy Winehouse. He picked up the best male gong, but won't be the only one celebrating that win. Jamie T came up to me before the awards. He was nominated for Best British Male as well, and he goes, you know, I put 100 quid on you to win tonight. Really? <laughs> it's like, and I just want them to film me when they announce if you win, because I'll just be like, yeah! And they'll be like, why is Jamie T so excited? Well, he won 100 quid. And how could we forget those Osbournes? Well, the first family of rock and roll had one, or maybe a few presenting hiccups. Oh, Shut up, you Shut up, Shut up, you And that wasn't all. Mr. Support McCartney! Let's take a look at the great man in question, getting premature here. But something to be thankful for. Despite promising to strip off, veteran Black Sabbath star Ozzy did at least manage to keep his clothes on. Alison Earl backstage at the Brits. <laughs>